Hey guys, I'm Lou and I'm joined with Emily again. I just can't keep away. <laughs> In today's video, we'll be doing the Riff It or Ship It book tag. I will leave the tag creator in the description box down below. And so let's start picking our couples. I will pick one and then Emily will pick one and then we shall see if it's a match made in booktube heaven. Shall we start? Yeah. So we have Luna Lovegood. Draco Malfoy. No. Luna deserves no. better. Yeah. But I feel like Luna could be a character who thinks that she could fix him. Maybe. I feel like Luna senses people like if they're good or not and... He becomes good. Kind of. She deserves better. Lola from Lola and the Boy Next Door. And Dean Thomas from Harry Potter. I could see Lola digging Dean being a wizard. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I'm not sure if it'd be like a good match. Lola was definitely my favourite out of the three girls from that series. True. I feel like Dean Thomas would be with a wizard. I don't feel like he'd be with a muggle. No, I don't know. So we're... Well, we'll pass on that one. Yeah, we're ripping this couple up. Desi from I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Goo. And Chris from The Hate You Give. No. Desi would just try and kill him. Yeah, I think Chris deserves someone who won't murder him. So we're ripping this couple up. I would not ship Desi with anyone. Goyle from Harry Potter. <laughs> Sirius Black from Harry Potter. I, I don't see it. And I don't think Sirius Black is into pedophilia. I just don't think he's into Goyle. He's tried all his life to get away from Slytherin. Percy Jackson from Percy Jackson. Rishi from when Dimple met Rishi. Percy deserved so much better than Rishi. Mm. I mean, Rishi was like an okay character. He was okay, but he was, he's just not. I question his tastes if he likes Dimple. I don't think he'd understand Percy's humour. It wouldn't be a relationship which his parents would approve of. Luke Fox from Catwoman Soul Stealer. John Ambrose McLaren from To All the Boys I Loved Before. I don't see their worlds connecting. No. I can't see Luke Fox going to the small town in America and falling in love with John Ambrose McLaren. No. I don't see John Ambrose McLaren going to a big city and working for... I don't see it. Wayne Industries and falling in love with Luke Fox. <laughs> Although I think both characters are really good. Yeah, they're good characters. I really like Luke with Alina. Yeah, me too. Nymphadora Tonks from Harry Potter. Inej from Six of Crows. I don't see them working. I think they're two contrasting characters. Yeah, I feel like... Tonks is too light-hearted, maybe. I feel like Inej needs someone who's a bit more like on her level. Yeah. In terms of like pain and hurt, so that they can relate mm. to each other. Luke, get away. Matilda from Matilda. <laughs> That's not happening. Nope. Luke is not into children. I hope we have at least one ship. I know. Camilla from the Bells. Alec from Shadowhunters. Nope. He's with Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> And Alec would not go for Camilla. And Camilla wouldn't go for Alec. Maureen Brown from Shadowhunters. I hope it's like a vampire. She was like the most annoying character to me through that whole series, I think. Will Herondale. No. That wouldn't work. Will would kill her. Percy Weasley from Harry Potter. Albus Dumbledore from Harry Potter. I mean, I could see Percy like sucking up to Dumbledore to that and point. Then he didn't he hate him for a while because of like being in the ministry. And True. Stuff. Philosopher Stone Percy would have done anything for the grade. Like Dumbledore is attracted to like darker people as well, like obviously with Grindelwald and stuff. And Percy's way too young. Julie from Codename Verity. Kath from Fangirl. Nope. Straight we're not, we're not lucky here. We're not doing well. I was hoping that we may even get like an official ship. I know. But I don't think this is going to happen. Diana Farley from Red Queen. Luke from Percy Jackson. No. No. I think Diana would kill Luke because he's a Diana's bad guy. Diana's just, I think she'd be really picky. Sebastian Morgenstern from Shadowhunters. Jacob from Twilight. <laughs> not even Jacob deserves that fate. Mare from Red Queen. Jesper from... Jesper does not deserve Mare. No. Mare would bore you to death, especially in Glass Sword. I think it doesn't help that I have contemporaries mixed in with fantasies. No. But also non-YA mixed in with YA as well. <laughs> I think that's... Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Haymitch from The Hunger Games. Barty Crouch Jr. No. Um. <laughs> I mean, Barty Crouch Jr. could probably fit into The Hunger Games. But I don't see Haymitch having a part. He'd ever. be like a deranged winner. Thomas from Stalking Jack the Ripper. Oh, this is an interesting one. And Benedict's The Strange. Oh, okay, from that's, Harry that's not going to work. Barty Crouch Sr. from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty Covey from To All The Boys I Love Before. No. No, not happening. I mean, unless some wizards have some incredibly weird tastes. George Weasley. The law is Umbridge. Oh my god. <laughs> like, this kind of thing is This good. is getting worse. 
This could have been good because like there are some really good Harry Potter characters that haven't been chosen. I'm gonna be so happy when you get a ship. Pia Pettigrew, I think you spoke too soon. <laughs> and Nina from the Grishaverse. We must protect Nina at all costs. <laughs> I can't see Peter Pettigrew having a partner. No, he's I've never way seen too it. cowardly for that to happen. But yeah, I just don't think he has the the level of emotional commitment that is required. Or the appeal. Peter from the Hunger Games. Anna from Anna and the French Kiss. I could see that working. Yeah, I don't see a, a problem with that. I mean, they're just like two meh characters. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a ship. Yeah. Ship them here. <laughs> Our first ship. Only because they're both okay characters. And I feel like Peter could be with someone who's like as normal as Anna. Yeah, Peter could be with anyone. He's a bit of a pushover. So, and I feel like Anna's quite bossy. Whatever the ship's gonna be, it's not gonna work. Alice from Alice in Wonderland. What have we got, Matilda? <laughs> uh, Dimple from Dimple and Matt Rishi. So that's not gonna work. No. Anna Beth from Percy Jackson. Who is this? Carla from Everything Everything. Is that the. Nurse. Nurse. Annabeth ain't gonna go for the middle aged woman. Crab from Harry Potter. It's not gonna work. It could have been a really good bad guy. It could have been Goyle. Gale from Hunger Games. Do you know what? I don't like Gale. Yeah, but I don't think he deserves to be a crab. <laughs> mm. All right. Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. We need a really good villain. Oh, Molly Weasley. Molly deserves someone who's a king. Jem Carsters. Tessa Gray! Oh, we have an actual ship! <laughs> so cute. Oh, it's just a shame we couldn't pull Will out at the same time. Sorry to the, um, is it Wessa? Wessa shippers? I don't think it's Till. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be. Isla from Isla and the Happy Ever After. A character who I particularly hated. Yeah, she's the worst out she of the three. She is not nice. Genevieve from To All the Boys in Love Before. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go for that, because Genevieve's not particularly nice. Isla's... But like, Isla's like okay. I like, I wouldn't like chip her. this, but you can chip this. I don't know. I'm, I'm, un I'm undecided. <laughs> Mal from the Grisha Bass. Aline Penhallow from Shadowhunters. Nope. No. Mm. Aline would not go for Mal. Dudley Dursley from Harry Potter. Nikolai. Nikolai does not deserve Dudley. President Snow from The Hungry Aim. And Harry Potter from Harry Potter. No. It ain't happening. I don't see President Snow liking anyone, unless it's for his own political game. He was a bit creepy with Katniss. Colin Creevy from Harry Potter. Argus Philp. <laughs> no. I mean, if it would have happened, it would have happened. <laughs> Evangeline from Red Queen. Gabriel Lightwood from Shadow Hunters. I don't think it'd work, but it's like got no. potential. Yeah. But I think like the ships which the Lightwood boys from the Infernal Devices mm. are with are like so good that yeah. I don't think anyone could match. Fleur de la Cour from Harry Potter. Mara Dyer from The Undercoming from, of Mara Dyer. Mara Dyer and Fleur would not... I mean, especially no. book Fleur. Like the amount of times Fleur just annoyed like Ginny and Molly and Harry. Mara or Dyer would not have the patience for that. Ren from Fangirl. Simon from Shadowhunters. Simon deserves better. Yeah. Star from The Hate You Give. Jason from Pretty Little Lies. No. No. And to be honest, I read those books so long ago that like, I'm just thinking of TV show Jason <laughs> as well. But even that is a blur in my mind these days. Isabel from Shadowhunters. And Minerva McGonagall from Harry Potter. I mean, I feel like a young McGonagall. Um, yeah, young McGonagall and young Isabel. Let's do that. We'll do it. Gus from the Fort Nass Stars. Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter. I feel like Gilderoy Lockhart is too self-centered to be in any relationship with, except for with himself. And Gus would not fall for Gilderoy Lockhart. Because like when he would try and quote like Shakespeare or something, Lockhart would just quote himself that Cedric Diggory. Zoya from Grisha Bass. I don't see Zoya liking Cedric. I don't know. I don't think it's impossible. No, I don't think it's impossible, but I don't see Zoya being like, oh, Cedric. I think Zoya would have incredibly high standards. Arya from Pretty Little Lions. And Etienne from Anna and the French Kiss. I see that working. Because Arya, I think Arya in the books, she was like very interested oh, yeah. in other countries. Like she went to Iceland. I see that happening. Yeah. But you just have to hope that it doesn't have like the Pretty Little Lions trouble. Yeah. Of, like, 
a black male. Then at least he wouldn't be her teacher. Albus Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius Malfoy. If that was Scorpius, I would have been oh. so behind it. You just like wait that whole play for like something to happen. I would possibly say that it's queer basic. It is definitely. Cricket from Lola and the Boy Next Door. Primrose from The Hunger Games. I actually think Cricket was the best love interest out of the three books. Do you know what? I think Lola and the Boy Next Door was actually just the best book. The best out of the three. And they're the only one that I would probably read again. Yeah, I want to reread it soon. Uh, but I don't think Prim and no. um, Cricket would work. <laughs> Julian Blackthorn from Shadowhunters. And Cho Chang. I don't see that happening. Julian is too into Emma. Emmett from Twilight. Professor Trelawney from Harry Potter. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think anyone would get sick of Trelawney's prophecies after a while. Katniss from The Hunger Games. Magnus Bane. No. Look, I'm not particularly a fan of Katniss. I think that Magnus Bane would just get rid of her. Chris from To All the Boys in Love Before. And Fred Weasley. I don't see Fred falling for Chris. But they're both like naughty songs at heart. Like they're both cheeky. I like delinquents. Mm, maybe. I don't see Fred falling for a muggle though. Rachel is with Dare from Percy Jackson. And Clarice from Percy Jackson. I don't I see that happen. I kind of ship that. I'm all for that. I could see Rachel like breaking down Clarice. Yeah. Actually, let's do it. Let's I do like it. Let's it. ship it. It's good. And it's like actually in universe. So. And they're the same age. Raphael from Channel Hunters. Maddie from Everything Everything. No. No. That could have been a good ship if we got someone good. What, for Raphael? Mm. For Maddie. For Raphael. Yeah. Maddie, I found this quite a weird character. Catwoman, aka Selena Kyle from Catwoman Soul Stealer. Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb. <laughs> Victor Crumb and who? Um, Catwoman. No. no. Although I could see Catwoman playing him. Oh yeah, I should definitely play him. Uh, he would definitely fall for it. Emma, casters. I've got Jessamine. May would not work, because the only reason that would work would be like one of them would have to be dead, and then a ghost. Leo from Sun vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. And Gideon. Lightwood from Shadowhunters. No. Emily from Pretty Little Liars. Lavender Brown, Harry Potter. I can't see um, Emily being attracted to Lavender. Oh no. Cal, Red Queen. Noah from Mara Dyer. No. No. So that was the Rip It and Ship It tag and we have five ships Yay. and lots of broken couples. <laughs> I feel more like the anti-Cupid than Cupid right now. Yeah, I'm not a good matchmaker. <laughs> if you would like to do this tag, consider yourself tagged by us. Yay! <laughs> Comment down below if you agreed with our couples. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and us and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye! Bye.